Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you want to use your iPhone's personal hotspot but it's not working? Problems with your personal hotspot may arise from time to time for various reasons, such as device connection issues or your hotspot being grayed out in the settings or control center. In this video, I'll show you how to fix personal hotspot on your iPhone when it's not working properly. Let's go! Before I get into the more complicated methods, I'll go over some basic facts that you need to take note of when using your personal hotspot. First, make sure that the devices you want to connect to your personal hotspot are nearby to your iPhone, as hotspot only works in close range. Updating your device to the most recent iOS version may also resolve the issue. To check if your iPhone is upgraded to the latest iOS version, go to Settings. Tap on General, then Software Update. If an update is available, you can download and install it. Moreover, Network Selection is set to Automatic by default. If you previously disabled the Automatic Toggle, you must re-enable it so that your iPhone can automatically detect available networks. To do so, go to Cellular and then to the Network Selection setting. Check that cellular data is turned on. Otherwise, the network selection will be hidden. If you haven't already, switch to automatic mode. If your personal hotspot is not working and the connected devices of your hotspot are unable to access the internet, you should check if your cellular data is enabled. Swipe down from the right side of the screen to reveal the control center. Turning your cellular data off and on again can sometimes resolve the problem that was preventing your iPhone's personal hotspot from working. Devices may now connect to your network successfully. Another issue that you may encounter is when your hotspot becomes undiscoverable by other devices. If this is the case, the next thing you should do is make sure that your personal hotspot's discoverability is enabled. To do so, go to Settings and then Personal Hotspot. To make your hotspot discoverable, activate Allow Others to Join. For easier access, you can enable it from the Control Center as well. By pressing and holding the Network Settings card, a new layer appears including your personal hotspot. Just turn it on. After that, your personal hotspot should be discoverable by other devices. If the basic settings are set up but your personal hotspot is still not working, then you can try other methods. One easy and effective step is to force restart your iPhone. It will start to reboot, which will clear the cache off your iPhone device. To force restart your iPhone, quickly press and release the Volume Up button. Then, do the same with the Volume Down button. Finally, press and hold the Power button until you see the Apple logo. This works out for devices starting by the iPhone 8 or newer. For the other ones, the process will be different. Check out the tag in the top right corner to see how it works for you. Try to connect to your hotspot again after the reboot is done. It's also possible that you won't see any personal hotspot options in the settings or that it will be grayed out in your iPhone's control center panel. If this is the case, you should check if your network plan supports personal hotspot. The personal hotspot is one of the only features that your carrier has control over. Contact your carrier to control whether your cellular data includes a personal hotspot plan or not. You should also check if your carrier settings have been updated. If this is the case, an alert in the About tab under General will appear, prompting you to install the carrier update. If there is no alert, your carrier settings are current and your hotspot may be experiencing other issues. Check that you have a strong data plan with sufficient speed and data limit to share between devices. You will be unable to share your data with others if your data plan is insufficient. As previously stated, your personal hotspot may be grayed out in the Settings app or in the Control Center in some cases. If this occurs, you will be unable to tap on it preventing you from activating your personal hotspot or modifying your personal hotspot settings. To solve this issue, see whether airplane mode is enabled. Cellular data and personal hotspot connections are disabled when you have the airplane mode activated. When you turn it off, your cellular data will automatically reconnect and your personal hotspot will no longer be grayed out. 
you can now activate your personal hotspot. Check to see if your data plan is about to expire or if you have any issues with your SIM card. If your SIM card is the problem, you can try to remove and insert it again. You will need to shut down your device to accomplish this. Then take out your SIM card. Wait a few seconds before reinserting your iPhone's SIM card again. After that, restart your device and see if Personal Hotspot is now available. If you find that older devices are unable to connect to your personal hotspot, you can try to solve the problem by selecting Maximize Compatibility. To do this, go to Settings, then Personal Hotspot, and turn on the Maximize Compatibility toggle. Please keep in mind that this feature is only available on iPhone 12 and later models. Enabling Maximize Compatibility on your iPhone changes the hotspot's frequency from 5 GHz to 2.4 GHz, allowing older devices to connect to your personal hotspot. Take note that this will also slow down the speed of your hotspot. Another option is to manually set up personal hotspot on your iPhone. Your device's Access Point Name or APN allows you to connect to the internet via the connection provided by your cellular service carrier. You can increase your device's network speed by changing your APN settings. So how exactly does this work? Tap Cellular, then Cellular Data Network. Scroll down to the Hotspot section. Enter your APN, which could be the name of your cellular service provider. And after that, enter a random username and password. The recording function hides the part where I typed in a password so you can't see it. Now, close the Settings app and reopen it. Every cellular service provider has different APNs to access the internet. If you are having trouble configuring it or are unsure of your APN credentials, contact your service provider and request them. Aside from Wi-Fi, it is also possible to connect to your personal hotspot using other methods like Bluetooth or a USB cable. I have another video explaining how to set up and connect to your personal hotspot with a USB cable or through Bluetooth. Simply click the tag in the upper right corner or follow the link in the description below. If you're still having problems with your personal hotspot and none of the methods I've mentioned have worked, you can try the Reset Network Settings option on your iPhone as a last resort. Go to General and scroll all the way down for this. Tap Transfer or Reset iPhone, then Reset. From the pop-up menu, select Reset Network Settings and enter your passcode when prompted. To confirm, tap on Reset Network Settings once more. This will restore your network settings to their original state, erasing any previously set preferences and configurations. Any Wi-Fi, cellular, and VPN settings are reset to their default configurations. You will also need to reconnect your iPhone to your Wi-Fi. For more information on how to fix your personal hotspot connection issues, click on the tag or the link in the description below to get to the official Apple website. If any of the methods worked out for you, let the others in the comments know which method it was. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!